all right welcome back to the channel everybody today i've got a pretty good one it's a uh, a c18 industrial package and i may cause a little stir today uh this video is going to be about why i personally feel that this c18 is the baddest of the of the c15 16s and 18s on the market to include marine this is an industrial gen set c18 and like i said i i think this is, when it comes to c15 16s and 18s i think this one right here is top dog even over marine application c18s you see max advertise you know it's it's max advertised horsepower it's not necessarily what this one's at but it's 1112 horsepower and i know a lot of you marine guys will sit here and argue oh the marine one's 1150 but i've got a little treat for you guys on why and, and two main reasons why i personally think this engine outclasses the marine version all right so reason number one on why i think this c18 beats out all other c15 16s and 18s in all the other industries to include marine is how easy and simple this engine is to work on there's no auxiliary cooling nothing this thing is so simple just off a glance and, and having worked on a few of these you could have this thing torn down just the exterior you could have torn down you know obviously if it was sitting on an engine stand or something or even here and even here in house screw it you could have this thing torn down in, in hours in half a day probably four to five to six, maybe six hours if you knew what you were doing even the guy who didn't know what they were doing, they could competently think, I think, tear this down in six to eight hours. Have all the externals removed off of this engine. That's reason number one. It's just such an easy, you see that 1100 horse. It's just such an easy, simple engine. It's not cluttered with a bunch of cooling pipes and hoses and housings and with seawater like uh, uh, i hate seawater personally so i don't like why would i even want that near my engine I, I understand why it's it's obviously the cooling is much better but this thing makes just damn near just as much horsepower the marine package of a c18 the max that i've been able to found find is 1150 this thing's 1112 so what's that 38 horsepower less <clears throat> and we'll get to that my number two reason on why i also think this is a better engine setup a better engine overall stay tuned all right ladies and gentlemen this is reason number two why i believe this engine is the baddest of the C18s of the inline 6 3400s, C15, C16, C18, whatever you want to call it. Why I believe this engine is the king of the hill. So, here you're looking at JKX serial prefix, which is a Marine Cat engine. This is the highest horsepower spec, test spec, that I could find. This is TMI CAT. I've got, as you can see, primary dealer. So, corrected full load power, 1136, ceiling 1170 horsepower. And then floor 1102. So, you buy a diesel not for horsepower, you buy it for torque. So... 2900 
3200 and 2700 corrected. Again, this is the marine application. Just let's so look at normal 1136 and let's click over to the industrial generator set. LTH C18 Normal horsepower 1123, ceiling 1134 and then floor. Now here's the good part. Why it's number 1. 3700 foot pounds, almost 4000 at the, on ceiling, but 3700 foot pounds compared to your marine application which only puts out just shy of 3,000. Now, I don't know why you guys, why your grandpa, why your dad, well, nowadays people buy diesel trucks just because, but used to be a time you, in, in, in the industrial world, you buy a diesel for the torque. This thing puts out 700 foot pounds over the marine competition. Or it's Marine Brethren. It's not competition. It's it's, it's Marine Little Sister. So it, it, what it lacks in, I don't know, 15, 16 horsepower, it makes up for with 700 foot pounds of torque. This why this is why, in my unprofessional opinion, this engine is is top dog. Even over the coveted marine engine all right so because it never fails and whatever you do in life you always have a naysayer and usually what happens with these videos is i get guys who say yeah that engine dynoed one time making that type of power and horse and torque it'll never do it in real life it's it's not really what it's set for you blah 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 it's it's set for a different power rating well Here's ET, C18, gen set. Uh, C18 gen set. You guys see the rating up there, three. See it set here for three as well. And then you see that power, 1100 horse, 37, 47 foot pounds. So pretty much 37, 50 foot pounds of torque. This thing, is programmed at what it's listed at. It's listed as an 1100 horse engine. It's programmed as an 1100 horse engine. The data tag reads 1100 horse, and that's what it's pumping out, 1100. And on the top of it, just look how cool that turbo setup is. How cool, how simple easy it is just a good looking setup i think personally all right let's crank this thing up see what she sounds like <laughs> 